Hello, in this talk we're going to present our paper SNAC, Self-Supervised Neural Dynamic Garments. State-of-the-art data-driven methods to model 3D garment deformations are trained using supervised strategies that require large datasets. These datasets are obtained by time-consuming physics-based simulation methods or by expensive multi-camera setups, which difficulties the scalability of current methods. In contrast, we propose a new training scheme that removes the need for ground truth samples, enabling self-supervised training of dynamic 3D garments deformations. Key to our success is a new physics-based loss term that describes how cloth dynamically deforms. This term is directly borrowed from physics-based simulation methods, which typically solve dynamics by applying a numerical integration scheme to the equations of motion. To motivate our new loss, Let's look first at the well-established solutions for cloth simulation based on the discretization of the equations of motion with Buckler Euler. Here, M is the mass matrix, F are the forces, and X and V are the positions and velocities of the garment vertices. Most physics-based simulation methods solve this expression at every time step, but since this is an implicit expression, it requires the use of expensive integrator schemes. Our key observation is to realize that the solution to the equations of motions discretized by backward Euler can also be formulated as an optimization problem. We propose to use the objective function for this minimization as a central ingredient of a self-supervised learning scheme. Therefore, an analogous to the optimization-based simulation schemes, we propose a loss with two terms. First, an initial term that intuitively prevents the change of garment vertex velocities over time. However, garment velocities will change anyway due to the underlying body motion, which makes dynamics and wrinkle effects appear. Second, a static term that models the potential energy, which includes internal and external forces that affect the garment. Inspired by works from cloth simulation literature, we define the static term as a sum of different energies that emerge on deformable solids, including strain, bending, gravity, and collisions. Notice that the formulation of this term is general, and the definition of energy depends on the material model used. To self-supervise the training process of our garment regressor, we fit in human motions and shapes from publicly available datasets. All in all, our regressor consists on four GRU units and an MLP layer that regress per vertex 3D offsets. These offsets are added into a garment template and skinned with the standard blend skinning techniques. The resulting mesh is then evaluated with our self-supervised loss, enforcing the formations that fulfill a physics-based criteria. To validate our approach, here we show that when trained using the same motions and the same architecture, direct supervision at the vertex level leads to smoothing artifacts. Here, we show a qualitative comparison of a SNAC with state-of-the-art methods. SNAC generalizes well to unseen body shapes and motions and produces detailed faults and wrinkles. SNAC results are, at least, on par with the realism of supervised methods that require large datasets, for example, Sante Stevan et al. or TaylorNet, and close to the state-of-the-art offline physics-based simulation. Finally, we compare SNAC to PVNS, the only existing self-supervised method for garment deformation. SNAC exhibits richer deformations for two reasons. First, PBNS enforces a static physical consistency, while a SNAC formulates a full dynamic simulation. And second, SNAC uses an STVK material model in contrast to simpler alternatives such as mass spring that lead to less expressive deformations. Our method runs at interactive frame rates. Here we show a live recording of our demo using the test motions from the AMAS dataset. Please. Check out our project website for models and code. Thank you.